Nissa worked tirelessly to cure Lazar's disease and to create a vaccine against it, one which she helped to distribute. In the course of doing so, she traveled from laboratories to makeshift clinics to election meetings and had a number of lovers, after which she proceeded to leave Terminus in search of other challenges. Venturing out into the galaxy, she embarked on microbiological research to defeat a deadly fungus, diplomacy to avert a war and fundraising for medical supplies following a flood. Pros. Asylum. Some time after leaving the doctor, Nyssa was transported to the death zone where she met Ian Chesterton, Stephen Taylor, Sarah Kingdom and Polly Jackson and was reunited with the fifth doctor, who had already traveled with her older self in his personal timeline. Audio. The Five Companions. Following the destruction of Exonos, Nyssa decided to find a place free from war and became a technography lecturer at a university. There, she was reunited with the fourth doctor, who had not yet met her, and joined him in an adventure in the 12th century, in the course of which she fought back against a killer and realized that she needed to once again choose to enjoy her life. The doctor returned her in the TARDIS, promising that he would pretend not to recognize her. Pros. Asylum. During the Time War, Nyssa operated a hospital ship known as the Trakin and assisted planets that became caught up in the war. She met a man who called himself Dr. Foster and became her assistant, although she came to suspect him of being a Time Lord Saboteur. In truth, the Saboteur was Dr. Isherwood. Dr. Foster departed after giving Nyssa a kiss on the cheek, reminding her of how she had said goodbye to the doctor on Terminus. Audio. A heart on both sides. On board the Varnamium, a quarantine ship, Nyssa worked to find a cure for the plague threatening the stagnant protocol. She was recruited for her unparalleled skill in this area. By the time the War Master arrived, she was working alone, both treating patients and running experiments to isolate the virus and reverse its impacts. The Master pretended to have been sent by the stagnant protocol, as an overseer, and joined her in her pursuit, sabotaging her experiments and manipulating her into killing one of her patients accidentally. In time, he managed to convince her to develop an even deadlier strain, in the interest of her research, and Nyssa finally realized who he was. The master abandoned Nyssa aboard the Varnamium when he departed. Audio, the orphan. Nyssa married Lasarty and had two children, Nika, Audio, Winter, and Adric, whom she told stories of her travels in the TARDIS. Audio, prisoners of fate. She was reunited with the fifth doctor once more when she assisted with his regeneration into his next incarnation. Audio. Winter. Nyssa set about attempting to find a cure for Richter's syndrome. She had an android called Loki whose hard drive she once had to erase after it was corrupted by his fear of his own shadow. Audio. Cobwebs. 